We first worked together in 1989 in 42nd Street. Or was it 1899? Feels like it. <laughs> One of my favourite experiences working with Nancy was in Six Dance Lessons in Six Weeks, where she played a stuck-up Baptist minister's wife, and I was a failed Broadway chorus dancer, and I had to teach her to dance every week for six weeks. And we just had a ball with it, so to come back together with Bosom Buddies is uh, like slipping into a pair of old slippers. Dancing slippers. <laughs> Well, the show's about our careers, mm -hmm. things that have happened to us within those careers and in our personal lives as well. Good stories about things that have happened backstage, a little bit of inside yeah. knowledge. The ups, the downs, where we started, and funny anecdotes of our time in theatre as well. Like exactly. it's Nancy once left the stage and walked into a cupboard rather than off the stage, and she wants to tell you about that. It's hilarious. I came out of the cupboard eventually. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> You can expect dancing, mm -hmm. which we both started as dancers, mm -hmm. and singing, yep. stories, some good songs. And laughter, I think. Some monologue, yeah. a little bit of everything. A bit of everything. <laughs> Bulls and Buddies is unlike any other theatrical production out there at the moment because it's a conversation with the audience. And so they get the chance to ask questions, we get the chance to sing, dance for them, tell jokes, tell, tell stories, but it's a real two-way street, this show, so there's audience interaction rather than just them sitting back watching a show. Which is an experience only live theatre can give you. Never work with animals <laughs> and children and Don McKenna. The audiences at the White Horse Centre are just wonderful. No, they, they, sure, they sure are and we can't wait to bring our new show Bosom Buddies to you all. You're going to love it. And we'll love doing it for you. We will. We'll see you at the White Horse Centre in May.